Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? Kostas Lozanis here with Opa Greek Tavern. How are you guys doing today? We're making my favorite seafood dish, bronze mahi-mahi gorgonzola. So let's get into this thing. We're gonna go ahead and season this guy up with a little bit of Old Bay seasoning and some good blackened seasoning. It's just gonna add some good, rich flavors to this nice cut of fish. Next, let's move over and make our roasted red pepper sauce. Chop up some fresh thyme, add that to your sauce pot. Next, we're gonna grab some roasted red peppers, really popular throughout the Mediterranean, and we use them a lot in our Greek restaurants. Sweeten it up with a little bit of sugar. That's just gonna help add some contrast to that spiciness from the blackened seasoning that we put on that filet earlier. A little zing of lemon, as you see there. Not only does it brighten up this sauce, but it also adds a little acidity. Now, when it comes to wine, I love using a good white wine. But this particular wine is actually a Chardonnay from South America. And it is a cream sauce, so throw in some heavy cream. Once you get all that in there, you can either use a little hand mixer, a emulsifier, or you can actually take everything and throw it into like a blender, and that would work as well. Now we gotta reduce this sauce, so we're just gonna move that pot over to the stove top and get that cooking on a low heat. And while that's reducing down, let's go ahead and get that pasta started. So add some water, some salt water to another pot, and we're gonna add some pasta. You can use any type of like short pasta for this dish. I personally like using orzo pasta. If you have some like elbow pasta, that would work out too, but in Greece and throughout the Mediterranean, we use a ton of orzo pasta. So, as you see right there, look at that sauce. Isn't that just looks so beautiful? It's still got a ways to go, but we're gonna let that continue to reduce down. I'm chopping up some artichoke there, as you see. That's just gonna be added to the pasta later on. We're cooking full steam ahead. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of caramelization to that mahi-mahi, so let's go ahead and drop that into a pan with a little bit of butter and oil. That's just gonna sear off both sides for you over there. And, oh man, that looks so freaking good, doesn't it? Doesn't it, guys? Like, that looks amazing. I could probably eat that, like, right there, but we're not done yet. Let's booze it up with a little bit of white wine. Opa, look at that flame there. Isn't that flame amazing? Who loves fire? I love fire. Everybody loves fire, right? Zing it up with a little bit of fresh lemon juice. Now that that is nice and seared off, we're gonna go ahead and start baking that in our little Greek oven there, as you see. So now that's getting baked off, we're gonna go ahead and work on our toppings. Sizzle up some bacon. A little bit of fresh baby spinach, we're gonna wilt this down. Oh, look at that. That, I love spinach. Do you guys love spinach? Like, ever since I started watching Popeye, I started eating a lot of spinach, so. Chop up that bacon, and we're gonna add the spinach we're gonna add the bacon, and of course, secret weapon here that really is gonna pop this dish is that nice, rich gorgonzola cheese. So pile that on top of there. As much spinach, bacon, and cheese as your heart desires. As you see here, we do not hold back. I mean, do we ever hold back at Opa? Put all that stuff on top of the fish and bake it just for a few more minutes. Sauce is reduced down. We're just gonna add a few dollops of butter just to really kind of indulge a little bit on that sauce. Oh, we just julienne some basil. Now we're sauteing some artichoke here. Uh, this is actually coming together for our pasta that we're doing. So artichoke there. And then we're gonna add sunflower seeds to this. We're gonna toast those sunflower seeds up real nice and incorporate that with the artichoke. Throw in your pasta and then throw in that basil. And that basil, I just love fresh basil. It just brightens up that dish. I use that word a lot, brighten. Like the lemon brightens it up, the basil brightens it up. It's just it's a nice, nice bright dish. Really great for the springtime or just whenever, honestly. Uh, pile all that up in the middle of your plate and lay that beautiful filet, oh look at that, with a nice melted gorgonzola. Top it off with a little bit of roasted red pepper sauce and you have an amazing dish. 
Cheers. Uh, doesn't that look amazing? The bronze mahi mahi gorgonzola with a sweet red pepper orzo pasta and artichoke. Really great dish. So I wanted to create something that's like really fun for spring, a little tropical, a little Cajun, you know, slash Texan Southern. Obviously makes sense in Mediterranean, so uh, that's where all this dish came in. If you're ever in the DFW area, definitely stop on by. Come on and try uh, a little of this filet for yourself. You're gonna love it. If it's your first time here, if you've never seen me before, my name is Kostas, I'm actually the owner and head chef of Opa Rick Taverna. Stick around, uh, subscribe to the channel, comment below. We will see you guys in the next video, all right? Cheers. Oh, oh man, good thing I came back over here. Get this thing finished up real quick. You know it wasn't gonna be gone forever, right? Still had food on my plate. Mmm. Seriously, guys. Freaking amazing. Seriously.